So how do you choose a business model that supports your goals? First, consider what would provide the tightest circularity for your product type. Durability or upgradability, product sharing, or something else. What are the tightest circles of material flow that you could economically achieve? Different products get thrown away for different reasons. For example, washing machines mostly get thrown out when they break, not because fashion is driving everyone to have this season's hippest model. By contrast, clothing mostly gets thrown out because people want a new fresh look, not because the old clothing was broken. For products that are thrown out when they break, your business model might be selling maintenance and repair services to capture value from a longer life. For products that are thrown out for obsolescence, you might use a functional result model for designing your product to upgrade and customize, then capturing value from mixing and matching the same parts in new ways. Second, consider what your customers most value. Do they care most about initial cost or long-term cost, convenience or reliability or something else? Third, Consider what's best for the people and local economies where the company manufactures, sells, and otherwise operates. Do the people there need more jobs or more flexible free time? Or is there some other social good your service can support? Finally, and most importantly, consider what works best for the company. What fits your strengths best? How you can generate the most revenue? Do you sell to individuals or institutions? Do you already have a recovery strategy, like take-back programs or maintenance contracts? Consider what types of product service system might fit your strengths. For example, if you're a car manufacturer that already has an extensive financing business, it's easy for you to expand into leasing, car sharing, etc. Or if you're a software company starting a new hardware business, it's easy for you to make your hardware a platform for your software. Together, these considerations of tight circularity, customer value, community value, and company strengths can help you reach all three points of the triple bottom line. You can get even more sophisticated with value mapping, a green business strategy tool. Product service systems can be especially good for startups. Products are relatively easy to imitate by competitors, and large companies can manufacture with greater economies of scale. But product service systems are harder to copy, so you can keep competitive advantage. Product service systems can also establish closer relationships with customers and longer relationships, helping you to understand and adjust to their needs better. Product service systems are also highly flexible, so the company can respond more rapidly and easily to a changing market or changing user needs. Be aware that it's challenging to design for the circular economy and product service systems. It requires the company to operate differently from a normal product manufacturer. There are several barriers that you should know how to avoid or overcome, like inertia, or need for new infrastructure, or lack of trust. For example, lack of trust can be overcome by guarantees or by the company retaining legal responsibility for the product. Or the need for new infrastructure can be overcome by starting with a smaller market or building on existing hardware. Circular business models are vital to support circular product design. You can even create them together so they mesh seamlessly. A good match enables products or systems that would never work otherwise and can revolutionize industries to help both your company and the world.